Hello everybody, SCP Slayer here, and welcome to Hungry Lamu. Now, this is a, one of those short horror games that I've been finding on itch. It looks interesting. That is probably the creepiest thing right here on this image. I don't know if, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a face staring from that cave. Looks very concerning. Um, so we're just going to click play and uh, let's see what this one's about. Apparently we're playing as Lamu here. Narrator. Hello, Lamu. You had a good nap, didn't you? Oh dear, looks like somebody's hungry. Let's go find some food for that big stomach of yours, Lamu. There's trash all over this. Am I living in a cave? Oh god, is this is this guy the face that was peering out of the cave? Where do I go? Do I just follow the path this way? I follow the path this way. Okay. Uh, isn't it a beautiful day today, Lamu? I added words there that didn't belong there, but it fits. Oh, wait, it's click. Let's find some cherries to put it to put in that stomach of yours. That is a weird way to phrase, phrase that, but okay. Those, those are blueberries, not cherries. Also, cherries grow on trees, don't they? There aren't any cherries beyond this point. Ah. I don't... I don't see any more cherries. Where are the rest of the cherries? I can continue going this way. Okay. Ah, there's some. Nom nom. Alright. Weird. Weird looking llama. Yum! Weren't those cherries delicious? But Lamu is still hungry. Cherries are not enough for Lamu's stomach. Oh, what's that? Well, it, well, if it isn't a cute little banana, I am very concerned. Why does the banana have a face and four legs? It also sounds like a dog. Lamu loves fruits. I am sure the banana wouldn't mind helping Lamu. Let's go meet this banana, Lamu. Objective, eat the banana. <laughs> I don't think we're meeting it, we're just eating it. Talk to banana. Hello, little banana. He's growling and barking. That's a dog. That That's a dog. Why is... Oh, dear. Looks like I was wrong. The banana is very selfish and doesn't want to help Lamu. We'll need to make the banana sleep so that Lamu can have a delicious meal. Why? <laughs> what? You want to run that one by me again? What? Why are we... I need something hard. Oh, that's why I could pick up the rock. I actually did it on accident. Oh no. <laughs> why? Oh no. I don't want to pick up the rock. No, why are we doing this? Hit banana. Oh no. Eat banana. Oh, why was there blood? What a hearty meal. I'm sure the banana didn't mind. Are you sure about that? Despite its sour attitude, it tasted very sweet. However, there's still some space in Lamu's big stomach. Oh, what's that, Lamu? A bunch of fruit friends. Why do they have human bodies? None of these are actual fruits, are they? We don't see a lot of them around here. Their fruits should be enough to fill up Lamu's stomach. I have... <laughs> I've played enough horror games now, those aren't fruits. <laughs> Let's go say hi to them, Lamu. Eat three fruit friends. Hello, fruit people. Why? Oh no, you're running away. Oh no. You're not. They're not fruits. It looks like they want to play a game. Just like the other fruit friends we've met in the past. How fun. Come on, Lamu. Let's find our new friends so we can... Have some of their delicious fruits. Okay. I have many concerns. Um, so I'm looking for the people. Uh, there's... There's a bee's nest. There's a road. Don't stray too far from home, Lamu. Le you'll get lost. Lamu will get lost. Oh. Okay. Um. It's a car. I can smash the car. Ah! 
I'm trapping people here to kill them. Oh, that's... Ah, uh, yeah, you know, the, the normal thing to do, you know, just bash their car. Jesus Christ. I need something hot. Because I need fire to get that guy. When is this gonna flip and I'm suddenly gonna see the corpses of my victims? I need something stinging. Well, I found something stinging. E th throw bees. E, find apple. Ouch, the bees stung me everywhere. Looks like I've got to be careful next time. Have an apple. You deserve it. Oh my god, I his entire fucking head. That's a bit disturbing. Why is there just a stick on the floor that's on fire? Okay, I think I found the hot thing. Where are you? There you are. Light bush. Uh, find pear. That's hot, hot, hot. Oh, jeez. Couldn't you try something less burning? Well, I hope you like burned pear because it's all yours. Dear God. I'm just eating their heads. Okay, where'd the last guy go? I I am hunting this person like they're fucking game or some shit. The hell? What is wrong with this game? This so this, this feels so demented. Oh, there's an axe. Uh, why is there an axe? I'm betting that's to do the next person. Is one in like the trees? Am I look? I have an axe to get them, so I'm assuming they're in the trees. They're in the trees! And there's the bees! Where is this guy? I don't know, in all honesty. Oh! There he is! What does it say? Does it just say I need an axe? Need something sharp? Ah, uh, that's all it says. Alright. Swing axe. There you go. Whoa, that was... That was a high fall. Alright. Did you know oranges give you tons of energy? <laughs> Have mine. Maybe next time you'll be able to climb a tree, too. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Weren't, weren't your fruit friends just delicious, Lamu? What a great day, playing with friends, eating delicious fruits, and having such fun. Today was a marvelous day, wasn't it, Lamu? Oh? What's that, Lamu? You're still hungry? Oh, boy. Oh, many concerns. Am I the person- hold on, wait. What the hell? Sounded like Tasha. I told them not to make so, so much ruckus. Let's see what they're up to. That is a shitty flashlight. Campsite isn't this way. Oh, okay. I need to go to the campsite first before I can explore. Alright. Um, there's the campsite. Uh, he turned direct. Where did they all go? Where's Mochi? Whistle. Whistles Mochi. Where are you, girl? She couldn't have run off too far. Oh, no. I know where the dog is. Oh, no. That banana was not a banana. Oh no. Oh no, the poor popper. M Mochi? What the fuck? Who did this? Poor girl. Whichever of you assholes did this, this is fucked up. Tasha, Ken, Leon, where the hell are you guys? If you think it's your friends who killed your dog, that's kind of disturbing. <laughs> I'm gonna go towards the cave? I wanna know. A few things. One of which being, what does the cave actually look like? So, apparently, we're just now... Are we being hunted by Lamu? What the fuck was that? You wanna run that by me again? I think I hear the bees. Oh yeah, there's, there's a... I'm going to be sick. Why are there so many damn bees? Who did this to you, Ken? That is a very good question. Who the fuck did that? Yeah, totally. Um, I think over this way should be where the... Dear God, where is that thing going? That thing's just glitching over. 
<laughs> Holy shit. I don't even recognize him. He's burnt to a crisp. What the hell is going on? Very good question. What the hell is going on? Uh, hi, Lamu. I see you out there. Hi. Want to not be there? Oh, why you fucking appear and then disappear? Fucking hell. Thanks, I hate it. Um, okay, so... That wasn't too far from the campsite, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm just gonna try and head back towards the campground. Or, the campsite, rather. And pray that I don't get eaten by the giant llama. There's the campsite again. Okay, so the last guy was, like, this way. I'm pretty sure. He was somewhere down here. This should be the last person I need to find. Hi, llama. You wanna piss off? So I can find my friends? Oh, God. Oh, God, Tasha. She must have twisted her leg in the tree. What the hell did this to her? I have to get out of here. I had to get to the car. Oh, I destroyed the car. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm stuck here, aren't I? I destroyed the car. Do I have to be looking for Lamu, or... That's the bush. Hi, Lamu. Hi. Please piss off. Go to hell, please. I think you belong there, uh, considering what you did to these people. Because Jesus fuck. That's really fucked. Oh no, yeah, I destroyed the car. Lamu Forest Park. Really? It's called Lamu Forest Park. I need to get to the car. The car is right here, buddy. Oh, there it is. It was there for a second. God, that hitbox is weird. The car is busted? Who the hell is doing this? Oh, hello. Hi, Lamu. Hi. Uh... <laughs> Ending two of three? Full course meal. There's three endings to this. Okay, I guess, uh... I guess we'll try and end it... I guess try and get an ending where we don't... Where we don't bust the car. And I imagine there's probably an ending if we go to the cave, actually. So... Uh... We're gonna play it again real quick. I'm gonna cut out... Uh, most of it, probably. But, um... Yeah, I will see you guys when I do cut back. You're still hungry. Okay, I'm probably gonna cut in here, so... Um, yeah. That took... Not too long to get back to this part. I didn't destroy the car this time, so we're gonna try the, uh, car route. And, uh... We're just gonna really quick go through the whole find everyone... And... Then get the hell out. So, uh... Yeah, let me just go real quick uh, through finding everyone. Bad llama. Bad llama. Piss off llama. Come on. Come on. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Screw that. Car is intact. We leave. Run over the llama. Oh. Whoa. Can we not run over the llama? Tragedy at Limo Forest Park. Uh, tragedy strikes in the infamous Lamu Forest Park. Uh, what was supposed to be a peaceful camping trip of four friends turned into a devastating bloodbath. Uh, da da da. We're camping in the Lamu Forest Park on the night of February 19th. The young adults just graduated and were looking to have a getaway uh, out in the wild to unwind. That was where, when tragedy occurred, Tasha, Ken, and Leon were brutally murdered and decapitated in the middle of the night, leaving Blank the only lone survivor of the devastating incident. The Lamo Forest Park has been infamous due to, the, due to its collection of known murders to those who enter the park. Every murder, murder involved within the park has been through decapitation by unknown means. Though f forensics have concluded that bite marks present on the the deceased bodies resemble that of human teeth. Oh, so Lamu just has human teeth? That's disturbing <laughs> on many levels. Uh, the mystery of the Lamu killer 
has been has been solved due to the recent developments. Through the authorities have decided to withhold the information of details about said killer. They assure the public that it will no longer cause any harm to any citizens. Blank has refused to participate in any interviews, understandably due to their traumat traumatizing experience. Our deepest condolences to the family of Tasha, Ken, and Leon. The public may rest easy knowing the Lamu killer has been apprehended. I highly doubt he has. I highly doubt he has. Also, if we were the lone survivors, that one we just ran over Lamu. If so, great, great bit of revenge. Okay, so apparently there's one more ending, and I think it has to do with the cave. So uh, we're gonna try to go to the cave. So I guess we're gonna have to play this again. So me on the other side. Okay, so we've made it back. And I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go through the whole finding everyone thing again. And then go and get to the thingy. So uh, I will see you all once I find everyone again. Oh God. Okay, so I found all the bodies. I've gotten to the find the car uh, point. And now, instead of finding the car, we're going to go to the cursed cave over here. So, from here we just go this way. And upwards. Hi, Lim Hi, Lamu. Hi. Okay, let's find out. Can we continue? We can continue. It wouldn't let me go past this point. I tried to go past this point earlier. It would not let me. So, the fact that we're here... It's already a good sign. There's the cave. Okay, we're gonna enter Lamu's cave, apparently. He'd enter. Is this the cursed cave they keep talking about? Shit, better... Better safe in there than out here. Ah! That's, that's what the trash piles were. Um, they were human skulls. The llama is hungry. Only fruit, only fruit, only fruit, only fruit. I miss mom. Pull. Oh god, is... A children's book? Monster? Dad. Mom. Lamu. It's a new day today. Everybody's waking up. Llama sees the sunshine and wakes up with a big yawn. It's a daily routine for this young animal to wake up. Well rested at the break of dawn. Oh, he's drawing a little party hat on. What the hell? Oh, boy. Rumble, rumble, llama's stomach growls. Looks like llama's hungry for some fresh food. Oh, dear me, that's the sign to go, Lamu said. Or llama said. Time for some breakfast. I sure hope it, I sure hope it's good. Miss home? Uh, Lamu leaves his home, whistling at as he walks thinking of the adventure of his to find his meal tweet tweet toot 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 tweet he whistles gratefully where overwhelming euphoria is what he truly feels oh god why is there an entire page missing oh my how rude of me llama says what a delicious fruit truly tasty Llama pats himself, satisfied that with his feast. Now he has to head home, best not be lazy. They are fruits, 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 they are fruits. Oh god, we're witnessing a child who went mad. Uh, no more home. Run away. Oh god, what the fuck? Lama walks, Lama walks back home, belly very full. He reaches his home just when the moon rose. He entered the door with a smile on his face, but 
what he saw next made his stomach made him struck a pose. There's police, two dead. Dr. Bronze exposed as fraud. With his groundbreaking discovery, it was envisioned that cures that cures to uncurable diseases could be produced. The discovery sounded too good to be true, which in this case, unfortunately, was upon further evaluation, Dr. Braun's findings and studies were further evaluated by other scientists, uh, them to return with the same feelings, and finding the findings were falsified. Oh no. Dr. Eric Braun's will, well known for his studies on in, interspecies genetics fusion uh, with has recently been exposed as a fraud for fraud as his most recent studies and findings were proven to be falsified. On the 15th of April, Dr. Bronze revealed his findings of human animal genetic fusion, allowing scientists to receive specific DNA from animals and placing it into a human body, allowing humans to have traits that were exclu exclusive to animals. Oh my god, did he mutate his child? All your fault. I did not want any more. Uh, after a long day and a fun time, Llama head to bed. He tucked himself into his warm blood into his warm blanket, he thought to himself, what a fun day, Remin reminiscing about tomorrow's banquet. The end. Still hungry. Oh, no. Oh, no. So this doctor mutated his son and turned him into a humanoid llama. What the hell is going on? Oh, hello. Hi, Lamu. Uh, so that's not a llama, that's just a fucking human. Oh my god, old stories. Murder at Bronze Residence? Wait, what? Oh, we're getting more lore. Uh, around 2100 hours, loud noises were heard within the Bronze Residence. Concerned neighbors immediately dialed for emergency services to inspect the concerning incident. What authorities found in the lovely home was absolutely horrifying. The Bronze family was well established within their friendly neighborhood, like well liked by their neighbors, and even having occasional get-togethers. Eric Bronze, fifty-two, and Tina Bronze, fifty-one, and Blank were a happy family of three. Something tells me they weren't. <laughs> Besides Dr. Eric Bronze, Bronze's exposure of fraudulent scientific findings six months ago, the family lived with no grudges against any other people and minded their own business. It it has come to a, sh to a shock that on Saturday night, Dr. Eric and Tina Bronze were found brutally murdered in their own home with blank Blank's body missing from the terrifying crime scene. Dr. Eric and Tina Bronze's heads were Detached from their bodies, laid across the floor, uh, nowhere near their necks. The living room was a mess, with furniture thrown around, thrown about, flipped over. The graphic scene immediately triggered authorities to conduct a thorough investigation on the gruesome incident. Families are advised to stay, stay indoors and lock away from... from... Lock any form of entry. God, I misread that so bad. Into their residential buildings for the time being. The authorities ensure the public that everything will be handled properly and swiftly. A search party has been conducted by the authorities to look for the young blank, dead or alive. It is still unknown who or what could have committed these hor horrendous acts. Although there are all, although we are all afraid. It is strongly advised to follow the authorities' orders in order to maintain not only your own safety, but our loved ones as well. We can only hope that the culprit would be apprehended soon. 
our deepest condolences to the extended family of Dr. Eric and Tina Baron. This has truly an unfortunate and un undeserved incident. If you find blank or any rem resemblance of the young child, please report it to the authorities immediately. Something tells me, uh, they weren't a happy family, and the child killed his parents because of their psychoticness. Like, the dad mutated his child. There's, there's like, no other explanation for how psychotic that is. Anyway, that's Hungry Lamu. God, that was a lot more in-depth than I was expecting. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't shoot the like button. Slay those comments and contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I'll see you next video, live stream, or do next. Peace, guys.